Alright guys, so today we're going to be talking about Tactical Assault Sledgehammer. Is he good? Hey guys, come and join us at twitch.tv slash teambash. We stream 18 plus hours a day and we're the most active Save the World streamers on the planet. So come and join us and be a part of the team. <laughs> is he good? Oh man, Tactical Assault Sledgehammer is the most powerful character in the game. Hands down, no question. Sledgehammer is God. This guy has the most powerful skill in the entire game. This guy was a monster back when he was Urban Assault. Now he is the Tactical Assault. And he's, uh, he's stronger than ever. And here's why. Assault Crit Damage. Increases Assault Critical Damage by 225%. This is completely, absolutely, mind-blowingly busted. <laughs> oh man, oh man. So, this guy takes damage to a whole new level. The key to using this character effectively is to use the fastest gun that you could possibly use. We're talking Founder's Drumroll, Bobcat, Sp uh, Silent Spectre, Candy Corn LMG, Terminator. Any of those weapons will absolutely shine in the hands of this character. And certain ones even more so because of the support slots that he's going to be rocking. So this guy's got Suppress the Fire and Stay Frosty. Uh, this means that consecutive shots against the same target will deal an, an extra 15% damage after your fifth bullet hits the target. He also has, after three eliminations, increases the ranged weapon damage by 10% and weapon stability by 35% for 7 seconds. So as long as you're killing something every 7 seconds, uh, you're going to have a super, super stable weapon with extra damage. Sound good? Oh yeah, sounds real good. So he's rocking the Going Commando Shockwave and Frag Grenade. You're gonna use Shockwave all the time and you're pretty much never ever gonna even think about using Going Commando. Maybe if there's a mini boss, maybe, probably not. Uh, frag Grenade, probably not. Maybe I throw it at some riots here and there to try to land behind them and trip them and knock them on the ground. But uh, other than that, no, nah, it's not even worth it. Not even worth letting off that trigger. This guy is so nuts. The damage is so out of control. All you gotta do is pull the trigger and shoot and win automatically. Just can't even keep up with the damage. It's so insane. So you've got um, preemptive strike for for the team perk, mostly because there just really isn't any good options, honestly. Um, this character doesn't utilize any team perks effectively at all. Um, the 6.5% bonus damage on the first, the first shot that hits the target is irrelevant because you're using super, super fast weapons that hit just like little tiny bullets. Um, so, you know, it, it's unlikely that that first bullet in and of itself is going to do much of anything. It's going to be, you know, the 10 bullets that hit him in that second that's going to blow those enemies to smithereens. So preemptive strike is kind of whatever it's a tiny little bit of extra damage but realistically doesn't matter in the slightest just a little bit more right it's always that little bit more so you've got assault rifle damage amp up the assault rifle right you're going to be using nothing but an assault rifle the entire time get an extra 17 percent to your uh to your damage arsenal right there then you've got an extra 30 percent mag size bigger mag bigger damage make it rain if you're hitting your headshots, you can get up to a 20% damage bonus after five headshots. Um, you got to hit. You got to keep it up really fast, though, every two seconds. Um, so if you don't, if you're not rocking shots in the face, uh, you're gonna you're gonna lose that bonus. But as long as you're headshotting like crazy, you're just gonna be sitting on a 20% larger headshot bonus. Then you've got two of the most insane abilities ever on this character. And uh, these ones kind of require you to use a very specific type of weapon. And that weapon is heavy, heavy mag size weapon. So if you're rocking, um, if you want a regular type weapon, you're going to be looking at more of a founder's drum roll because it has a huge magazine size, but fires like a regular assault rifle with all the accuracy that you would expect. Um, however, if you want to go with something truly scarier, then you want to go with the maximum mag size possible. You want to be rocking one of the legit LMGs like the Mercury or the Terminator 
or the candy corn LMG. One of those weapons, they have a 205 mag clip with this build. And uh, as you can see, this is why it's strong. After every single time that you shoot, you're going to do 1% more damage with your ranged weapons. So take your, your, let's say, Terminator. Take your Terminator and shoot 25 shots. Every shot up to 25 is 1% more damage. Capping out at 25, you basically are doing 25% more damage by having this on you. And since you have, since you don't lose this buff until you reload, you want to make sure that you never reload. Meaning, massive, massive clip size. Sitting on a on a 205 round clip means that uh, 180 of those shots of those of those bullets are going to be 25% bonus damage. Then you've got Mad Tidings. This one is absolutely the most ludicrous uh, ability in the game, as far as the uh, the support slots go. This thing, oh man, this is so nuts. Firing a ranged weapon grants one stack of Holiday Spirit, up to 50 stacks. Each stack of Holiday Spirit increases range damage by 1%. So this is basically the same as Startup, except that it stacks 50 times instead of 25 times. So, <laughs> 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 50% 50 50 bonus damage. 50% bonus damage. So, when you have used 50, 50 bullets out of your 200 and five clip, you're going to be sitting on 155 rounds of 50% stronger gun. Like, what? The downside is that it actually gives you a, a pretty big hit to your stability, except that that doesn't matter because as a soldier, you are getting stability built into the character by default. See? Oh, yeah, that's right. Stay frosty. Weapon stability, 35%. Completely outweighing the negative side effects of Mad Tidings so that you don't even notice any stability issues at all. Zero. So you basically have 50% more damage, 25% more damage, 17% more damage, amplified by 225% critical damage every time you crit, which is going to be at least one-third of your shots higher depending on the weapon that you're using and uh yeah yeah absolute complete madness this character's damage is off the charts uh you will basically melt a smasher in the time it takes you to blink <laughs> the biggest challenge that you're going to have with this character is a god complex where you get yourself killed all the time because you feel like you're actually a god like you just kill things so fast you forget that you can die <laughs> and uh and yeah that's uh that's tactical assault problems is uh it's uh, feeling like like a god it's 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 a real struggle oh oh man oh oh i think i pulled my god neck <laughs> oh man this character is just nuts man just nuts you basically kiss every smasher goodbye forever. Like whether or not you even use, you don't even need a bundle bus on this guy. This guy just like absolutely tears it up. Just a monster, just a monster. So yeah, anyway, if you want to rock these, uh, these totally sick, totally busted abilities, then uh, yeah, go get yourself a bullet storm Jonesy, a uh, crack shot, a um, urban assault headhunter, the the new hero that you get from doing the quest just by playing soldiers you can unlock light show spitfire for that extra mag size and uh hopefully uh you have a rescue trooper around or a a havoc around and you can get that extra assault rifle damage so tactical assault sledgehammer is he good oh yeah <laughs> best character in the entire game hands down if you don't have him use your voucher and go get him right now this guy is the god gun just the god gun <laughs> i'm so used to saying urban assault
but they've changed this character. He is now forever to be known as Tactical Assault Sledgehammer, the living god tribunal of this game. No character could possibly be more powerful Check. than <laughs> assault rifle critical damage. It just it doesn't get any any more crazy than that. Crit damage is the most powerful uh, damage tool in the entire game. This guy deletes things in the blink of an eye. He's got uh, an absolutely staggering, staggering, like Just support squad of, how cool of killers, including <sighs> I could blow up all of my problems with that crack thing. shot, bringing an extra 50% uh, damage to the, the table. Bomb has been loaded into the launcher. Bullet the launcher Jonesy, bringing another 25% uh, damage to the, the table. And prepare for some unwanted guests. We got Rescue Trooper bringing another 17% damage to the table. And we've got uh, the new character, the Light Show, bringing 30% bigger mag size. Just absolute freak show roster of characters uh -uh. stacking up some of the most insane damage that you can possibly imagine. It's just, it's on a whole different level, man. So you're about to see the, the, the onslaught of the tactical assault. This guy absolutely melts everything into dust. The key with this character is you want to use really super fast firing guns with massive mag size. Uh, you don't ever want to reload your weapon. The, uh, the more shots you take without reloading, the more damage you do. Up to a maximum of 75% bonus damage after after your, you fired your first 50 rounds. Next. Just absolutely crazy, crazy damage ramping. Take out the smasher. What's that smasher? Oh, you're dead? Oh, weird. I blinked and you were gone. Hey, big boy. Get wrecked. Woo! <laughs> no. Yeah, this guy's just insane, man. Just insane. <laughs> Don't blink or you'll miss it. Oh, what the heck? Where does that come from? Where did that come from? Get that ammo. I didn't activate it. Megan, you want to get the back side of the base? Back side of the base. Earth Scorcher! <laughs> delete, delete, delete. Smasher's gotta die. <laughs> oh man, just insane damage. Just insane. Oh, this character's so nuts. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, like and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up. Comment down below if there's any other reviews that you'd like me to cover. Catch you guys next time.
So if you like this video, uh, come check us out on Twitch. Uh, we, we Twitch stream 15 to 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every single morning starting at 9 a.m. Uh, we'd really appreciate the support. Uh, we're working really hard to uh, grow the Twitch channel. So come and check us out. Come, uh, come help us grow and be part of Team Dash. Thanks, guys.